Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanking and praising God for our being here this morning. For today is a day of celebration. Yes. Oh, how we thank God for this day. We thank God for our pastor, the Reverend Dr. Matt. We thank God for the Reverend Kevin McCullough. We thank God for our visitors up here this morning. We thank God for Reverend Allen this morning. And we thank God for you, for God is good. And he's good all the time. We are talking about grace and mercy. Yes. And before I get started on my tribute, I have to talk about Sister Pauline Gallison. Yes. The one that brought grace and mercy to New Hall 17 years ago. 2004, we had our first grace and mercy. And it's been going every since. Pauline, wish you could be here. No, you're not, but we are praying for you. One day, you got to come walking through those doors. 17 years of grace and mercy. And my heart is heavy this morning, but I'm going to try my very best to do what I have to do. Oh, God, how we wish those members that are dead and gone was with us today to be able to celebrate with us on this grace and mercy. For you did hear their names being called as they hit the bell this morning for the ones that are gone. Those saints that are gone, we don't forget them. They toil right here at New Home with us. Yes. Every member that has gone died. Praising God right here yes. at this church, yes. the new home missionary Baptist Church. We remember their contributions. We remember their dedication. We remember the prayers that they prayed. Lord, we thank you for this day. For without you, we could do nothing. But with you, all things are possible. And so I begin my tribute to these two special people today. And I don't want them to stand at this time, but I want the people that came with them to stand. Amen. Would you please stand for the ones that came with I'm sorry, the Owens this morning. The Owens. All of us came with the Owens this morning for this tribute. And you want somebody to take a picture right now. Take a picture of this family that's here. Yeah, that came yeah. to celebrate with this couple. Amen. And that's Maxine over there, but she's with them too. Amen. And so, I hey. town of Yazoo City, there was a prince <laughs> looking for a princess. <laughs> <laughs> he did not know much about being responsible for a princess, but he knew he wanted one, a princess. So, here's this lonely, debonair, handsome prince. <laughs> Thinking about, oh my, I want a beautiful, gorgeous, lovely princess to marry me because my, I want her to become my bride, become part of me, and become my real. Yes. <laughs> so one day, as he was walking down the road, minding his own business, uh -oh. guess what happened? <laughs> Here is this beautiful, lovely, gorgeous princess. The one he had been looking for all of his young life. Here she stands, looking at him with those beautiful eyes. So guess what he did? He beat 
being so debonair and charming, yeah. he decides to speak to her. Hello there. My name is Carter. What is your name? Oh, my name is Rita. The one, oh my God, you are Rita? You are the one that I've been looking for all my life. And I want to make you my princess. <laughs> oh, she said, oh, you would? Of course I would. But right now, let me tell you something about me. I don't have my own place yet, but I'm working on it. I live with my parents, so until we are able to get our own place, would you marry me and live with my parents? And she said, yes, I will. <laughs> so they decide to tie the knot. Back down in those days, they jumped the broom, they tied the knot, they, but they just wanted to get married, so they got married. A few years later, after their first son was born, they took a haul to get to St. Louis, Missouri. Y'all heard that? They took a haul, a H-O-G. Not a cat like that. A haul was to get them to St. Louis, Missouri. I tell you about it, lady, you didn't get that. So once they got there, they, year after year, you know, they wanted to go out and have a good time because they didn't know anything about St. Louis, Missouri. So their cousin, his cousin, said, okay, y'all, but y'all don't know much about St. Louis and they talk like St. Louis. Uh, so uh, I'm going to take you out into town. But they didn't have a babysitter. So <laughs> the cousin came and picked them up. Oh, that's right, right? You can sit down, dear girls, because you're ready to good. Sit down. You can sit down. The cousin came to pick them up and took them to the club. Back down south, they didn't call it the club, they called it the Jeep Jug. So they took them to the club, but guess what? They took the baby along with them. <laughs> Stay the same, they almost 